If you want to see all the nail polish looks I had during the month of October and see me reveal two more polishes from the Ciate Mini Mani month, then stick around. Hi there, it's Ilan, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup, or hmm, makeup. I am talking about nail polish today, so not so much what goes on the face, but what goes on the nails. But I do want to take a second to talk about this look. This is the third look that I do with my recent acquisition of Kiko Milano, uh, a nine pan palette, which is the Glamour uh, Multi Finish Palette number three. And I happen to have it right here. And I will put all of the links uh, right here of the videos that I've done. So the swatches, look number one, meaning first impression, look number two. And this is officially look number three. And I'm not going to do a video on it. I've done two looks uh, already with a nine pan palette, which I think is enough. This is look number three. And I just want to tell you what it is that I used. I ended up using this eyeshadow, this one on most of the movable lid, uh, and also this one on the inner two, uh, inner two half of the lid, and this one as a brow bone highlight. And I'm really, really pleased with all of the looks that I came up with, uh, with this nine pan palette. It's pretty much a no brainer palette. It's um, a little speck here. It's a very easy one to work with, and uh, I suspect, based on the color story of this one, that there's been some pretty decent curation with the whole line. I think there are there's a total of nine of these mini palettes from Kiko Milano. I do know that Kiko Milano is available in the U.S. I have yet to find a spot in Canada where you can get Kiko, Kiko Milano. If you know of a way of getting it easily in Canada, please let us know in the comments. I would really appreciate knowing because I really wouldn't mind eventually having another one of these. The, the one that is purple based is definitely one that is uh, of interest to me. I think this particular one, which is more berry color, and the purple one would be uh, the absolute best fits for uh, green eyes, which is what I happen to have. Anyway, just a side note, I just wanted to let you know about um, the look today because it is the third and final look that I am doing with this little gem of a palette. I'm so, so happy to have been gifted this palette um, by uh, Richard, my significant other. Uh, it was a great choice, uh, even if it was <laughs> somewhat by accident, it worked out beautifully. Let's go and talk nails now. Okay, I have seven nail looks to talk through with you, and I have my little paper here as a reference. The first pairing that I did was one that I did right away because I was worried about it, and it is this pairing right here. They were new to me last month, and what I have here is Smooth Sailing, and here is Twinkle Toes. So I ended up pairing these two and having twinkle toes as the ring finger accent, kind of like what I have here uh, on the ring finger. And it was uh, quite a nice pairing, really enjoyed it. Then I went uh, quite a bit more neutral. I went with uh, Beach Melba, which was one of the, the new colors as well, along with Antique Brooch, which is a long time favorite of mine from Ciate. From the moment I first wore it, I, I've been very impressed by this particular uh, color of, um, I guess, uh, very uh, glitzy nail polish. So uh, the antique brooch was a ring finger accent as well. Then I had a very nice um, subtle pairing again with a new um, nail polish color. And this one is Spinning Teacup paired with Purple Rain. And Purple Rain was uh, acted as a topper on the ring finger along with uh, spinning teacups and I, I really quite enjoyed that pairing as well. And because I enjoyed Purple Rain so much, it is one of my favorites from Ciate, I ended up pairing it again, this time with Bubblegum Bellini, this nice uh, pink color, but Purple Rain on this one, I used on every single one of the fingers and I found the pairing of the two to be quite fetching and it was one of my favorite looks of the whole month. So highly recommend 
these two if you are big in on um, Ciate nail polishes. Next was a very simple but very blingy look, which is this little guy. I used it on all fingers, and it is the Gold Digger, which was one of another one of the new polishes that I had uh, picked from Ciate. Really enjoyed this one. Although, if you have texture on your nails, it does uh, show the texture quite a bit. So this might not be uh, a preferred option for a number of people who are like me and have uh, quite bumpy nails. Uh, it, it might require a couple of coats of um, a Ridge Filler Base Coat before you can use uh, a color like this uh, on the regular. Next, I went with something quite fun for around uh, Halloween time, and that is the uh, Black Creme from Wet n Wild. And I paired it with Party Popper on the ring finger, and I really enjoyed this pairing quite a bit. This is a nice, um, it's not quite black, it's a very deep navy sort of black, but unless you get really close, you can't really see that it's not quite black. Uh, and I do really enjoy Party Popper. If you want holographic nails, um, like little bits of holographic on your nails, Party Popper is, is great, and it's a full size. I mean, this thing is going to last me a long time if it doesn't dry out beforehand. And finally, the last uh, pairing that I did for the month is this Marc Jacobs Jealous. It's, and I, I don't know if you can see it, it's, it's, it's green, but it's kind of a see-through green. Um, it's called uh, Jealous Glaze uh, 214. And I do believe that these are discontinued. And I have to say that the Marc Jacobs uh, nail polishes are pretty bad and the brush in this nail polish um, container is terrible. Terrible. You're paying $22 for a nail polish and the brush is... The Sephora brush in... Um, do I have one of those? The Sephora brush in these little egg shapes that you can get for between $4 and $7 each are far superior, far superior to the brush that comes in a $22 nail polish uh, container. No, not acceptable. High, um, high end brands, luxury brands need to do a better job with the components they use. Um, yes, this looks great, but it's not functional when you try to use it. So Sephora, great job on uh, your brush design. Okay, back to the look now that I'm done with complaining. So uh, yes, this is very uh, lovely and the color is fine. And the pairing that I had um, here was really nice where it was a deep green, which still kind of worked with Halloween. And then this uh, color on the ring finger was quite nice. And this is called Splash. So I had Splash on the ring finger over top this Jealous Glaze from Marc Jacobs, and then the other fingers uh, were all uh, using glaze. Now, one other thing on the Marc Jacobs nail polish that you should know if you are still able to get these, the problem is, is that they peel in chunks. So after maybe three days, I ended up having the issue of my nail polish coming off in almost small sheets. So it's not necessarily fantastic um, as a nail polish choice. So you've got a lousy brush and really bizarre behavior for the nail polish once it's worn on your fingers for a few days. Okay, that, those were all the pairings. Now I am ready to reveal two more nail polishes from the advent calendar. So let me do that right now. Okay, so we are at 19 and 20. So I'm going to do those right now. And actually I'm going to do 21 and 22. So let me uh, reveal four nail polishes and I'll show you as soon as they are out of the box. Okay, so here are the four items that I have picked out. Uh, first one is Midnight in Paris. And I'm very excited for that because it is perfect for the holiday season. That is going to be beautiful. The second one, so that was number 19. The second one is number 20, and it is the Desert Lights. 
And I think that that is going to go really, really well with the one I just showed you. Great pairing. Uh, we'll see if I'm right. Now the third one, I guess number 20, 21, should be 21, 19, 20, 21. Uh, this is finally, I'm getting to it, is the hydrating lip oil that um, Steph, it, my Irish friend, has been talking about for most of the year. And I've been patiently waiting to discover this one. So I can't wait to tell you about uh, what that is like. Um, I don't usually try lip oils, so this is going to be interesting. And finally, again, perfect for the holidays is this, oh, I've had this one. No wonder I like it because it is one that I really enjoyed from two years ago. I think it's two years ago. Dangerous Affair is the last one that I picked. So I cannot wait to do some looks with those four in the coming month. And let me know what you thought of the pairings that I did over the past month. Do you have some combinations that you would like to suggest? I'd be all ears. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.